I had the opportunity to attend Connect last year, and one thing that I really regret is not getting the transparent Meta Special Edition glasses. By the time that I decided to get them, they were already sold out. But luckily, Meta released a new Special Edition version called Ray-Ban Meta Copernic Limited Edition, and I was super lucky to be able to get them. More importantly, I'm excited to show them to you today. We'll take a look at what's included and go over the specifications, but what I'm more excited about is what you can do with these glasses, such as taking photos, videos, playing music, identifying sounds in seconds, translating text and voice. I think I'm going to be presenting at the university tomorrow. Creo que voy a presentar en la universidad mañana and using the powerful Meta AI features, which to be honest, made these glasses super practical for my day-to-day -day task. All right, let's take a look at the limited edition box, and you can see here that it shows that this is one of the 3600 glasses made. I have number 3364. Well, here's also the charging case. It looks like we have a light indicator, a Copernic logo on the back, and a pairing button for Bluetooth connectivity. Now, the battery life is four hours and the charging case provides up to eight more charges. Now let's look at the actual sunglasses and here we have it. Wow, this is just beautiful. It comes with a light indicator on the left side and also a 12 megapixel camera on the right. And the resolution is honestly pretty nice. I'll show you photos and videos with today's demos. To power it on, here is a switch and a light indicator is in this area. To take a picture, hit the button on the right hand side and you should hear a sound when the capture button is pressed. Now on the bottom, you'll find two speakers and a custom 5 meter array. Oh, and the Copernic logo is also located in this area. Lastly, to charge it, you can use a USB-C connection. All right, let's set up the glasses, download the MetaView app and open it. Here you can connect to one or multiple glasses. In our case, let's add a new pair. We'll hold the button on the back for five seconds to enter pairing mode. Cool, now we have the light that indicates that it's ready and we can continue on. Looks like it found the glasses and now let's connect. Okay, select pair and we should be connected now. Let's test it by taking a picture and yes, it looks pretty awesome. Okay, so now I love to show you how Meta AI works, but most importantly, how AI is context aware, which is what makes it pretty powerful. Let's take a look. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. How far is it from Earth? Jupiter is approximately 483.8 million miles away from Earth at its average distance. What about from the Moon? Jupiter is approximately 405 million miles away from the Moon at its average distance. Another great feature is to be able to use your voice to activate Meta AI, then take pictures and also videos. Let me show you. Can you take a picture? Here are the results of the photo showing clear colors in a very detailed image. Okay, let's try this again, but this time we'll tell Meta AI to capture a video. Hey Meta, can you take a video? And yet again, very good results. 30 frames per second, 1440 by 1920 pixels of resolution, but the best part is that it was all activated by using voice. Okay, so let's look at a different use case where what I wanna do is have Meta AI actually read text for us. Let me show you how we can do that. Hey Meta, can you read me what you see? The infinite retina navigates spatial computing, augmented and mixed reality and the next Tech Revolution 2nd Edition forward by Steve Wozniak. All right, let's try it again, but this time let's find out if Meta AI can actually translate to English and French from text that I wrote in Spanish. Hey Meta, can you translate what you see? Today I will be showing you how the Reband Meta glasses work and the functions they provide through Meta AI technology. The only bad thing is that this limited edition version of the glasses is already sold out. Can you translate it to French? Take a photo to answer, yes? Yes.
Bonjour, who avez vous montra comment functionant les lunitas ray banda meta? I know, that was pretty, pretty cool, right? Honestly, we are in the future, but let's try something else. This time we code. I am a programmer, so what if I have made AI tell us more about the code that I'm actually writing? Maybe we need suggestions, or maybe we just need to know what it's really doing. Let's go ahead and take a look. Hey, Meta, can you tell me what you see? I see a computer monitor displaying code in a programming language. Likely C, the code appears to be related to a Unity project with references to game objects, materials, and transformations. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that code is doing? The code appears to be creating a line object in Unity, setting its material, color, width, and alignment. It also seems to be positioning the line object in 3D space with a slight offset to prevent it from intersecting with the canvas. The code is likely part of a script that generates lines or paths in a Unity scene. Can you tell me what the line render is doing? The line render is a component in Unity that is used to render lines or paths in 3D space. It can be used to create a variety of visual effects, such as drawing lines, curves, or shapes. In the context of the code, the line render is likely being used to render the line object that is being created and positioned in the scene. What is the offset currently shown on this code? The offset is currently set to negative 0.002F, which means the line object is being positioned slightly nice. behind the canvas. How about another use case, which to be honest, we all dream of having, especially as a native speaker, or if you speak or have tried to learn a different language, you're going to be appreciating this live translation feature. So let's take a look. Starting live translation from Spanish to English. Hey, my friend, how are you? Oye, amigo mío, ¿cómo estás? It has been a while since I saw you last time. Ha pasado un tiempo desde que te vi la última vez. I really miss you, and I wish we could hang out one more time. Realmente te extraño y deseo que pudiéramos pasar el rato una vez más. ¿A qué hora te puedo llamar por teléfono? What time can I call you on the phone? Bueno, fue excelente verte hoy, amigo. Well, it was great to see you today, buddy. <laughs> Let's open the MetaView application that I showed you earlier. And in this application, you can tweak additional Meta AI settings. In my case, I have a Meta, Wake Sound, Respond Without, a Meta, Enable. But what about using different voices for your AI agent? Here's one of the voices you can choose. You can always change it later in settings. Here's one of the voices you can choose. You can always change it later in settings. Here's one of the voices you can choose. You can always change it later in settings. Next, let's take a look at connected apps. This feature, in my opinion, is what takes the Ray-Bans to a completely new level, where you can connect a variety of applications. In my case, I'm going to do Apple Music, Audible, since I have a variety of audiobooks, and lastly, Shazam. What if you wanted to simply play music or play your favorite audiobook or simply recognize a song that you really like but you don't remember actually the song name or maybe the artist's name? This is something that you can also ask Meta AI. And this works because we have connected apps. Hey Meta, play music and make sure you select the script. Here's Dilmer E. Valacio Station. Hey Mera, play Audible. Take in the things we do often. There is power in steadiness and repetition. When I met Dr. Phil Zimbardo hey Mera, in the summer of 1971, play Zimbardo Atomic Habits from Audible. Assigned them roles as either guards or inmates. From Audible, here's Atomic Habits by James Clear. 
or baker. You borrow the storytelling strategies of your favorite writer. You mimic the communication style of your boss. Hey, Mera, what song is playing? Listening now. Shazam found Stop and Stare by One Republic. <laughs> well, these AR features are going to be very useful personally for me, and I'm sure they will be for you as well. These type of glasses look great and they are not bulky. However, they are steel sunglasses, right? Which I know that I'm gonna be wearing mainly outside. The version that I found myself using daily, I would say all the time, are these transition glasses that I'm wearing right now. I can use them inside, they transition to a clear mode and then they go to dark if I go outside. Not as much as the Copernic sunglasses, which are pretty dark, but they do a really good job. If I had to decide to lay between the two, even if the limited edition was still available, then I would go and say, go with the Meta transition glasses because you will use them all the time and you can really take advantage of the all day use. There you have it. We have a pair of glasses that simply do not require a display to be functional, but it's still very practical with the help of voice and AI. Well, I'm super curious to know what your thoughts are. Would you consider getting your own pair? Or do you have a pair? If so, are you using them today? Drop a comment below and let me know. Also consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell. Thanks everyone and have an amazing day. Then I would go and say with the Okay, let's just do this one more time. Well, these are, well, these AR features are